welcome to another episode of Off the Court Daily. I am very lucky to be joined by Ramelden Aitken George just to find out about the Sunshine Girls and their prospects at this Netball World Cup. I'm lucky to be standing next to you having played with you and been with you at the Firebirds last season, so thank you for taking some time today. As a Sunshine Girl, you debuted in 2005. And in terms of being a Sunshine Girl, what has it meant to, be, meant to you? Um, thank you so much. Um, I mean, it's like super amazing. I mean, when I started playing for the Sunshine Girl, I was a little stick. Um, and to be able to just see all the changes go through from when I started to where we are now, like it's been just an absolute privilege to be with such an amazing group, like throughout the years, just watching us like battle week in, week out with each other and just to get on court. So it's been really special. And now that we're here, like it's really extra special. How, what are the changes that you've seen from 2005 to now? Is it the coaching team, the setup, the professionalism? What have been the key changes for Jamaican netball? Um, I think for me, just like looking, I think it's just like the development of the players coming through. Um, and even like for us to come to the SSN to play, like obviously we come to a professional environment and when we go back home, we try to implement all of that. Um, nothing much has changed at home, yeah. but I think us going away and coming back, it helps to, I guess, lift the group a little bit more, a little bit more energy, more experience. Um, help to, I guess, encourage more professionalism in our group. So you joined the Firebirds in 2008 and literally set the stage alight. For 12, 14 years at the Firebirds before moving across to the Swiss this season, what's your experience in the Suncorp Super Netball been like? Um, I think like when I first played for the Firebirds, like it was kind of like a blessing in the skies for my family and I know like it's it's been a tough journey, um, knowing everything that happens on and off the court. Um, but one thing never changes the friends that you make um, playing sport. Um, and I think I was just super blessed to play with the likes of you, you know, enemy. <laughs> you say that now, you say that now, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, just like to see like all the girls um, that I've looked like on the court, on the opposition, and then to be able to be playing with them. Um, it's really good and I think like even going and playing for Swifts and playing with Helen. I love that girl um, She's hilarious and I think just like just having experiences here and there and Just changes my view on netball and people in general. So yeah, it's been an epic experience And I'm just like enjoying it like week in week out. It must have been quite scary leaving the Firebirds and going to the Swiss but a really pivotal year for you. Obviously, we've got Netball World Cup at the moment. How did that year at Swiss really, like, I guess, channel your motivation to get into this Netball World Cup team? Um, so I think I went into a group of gal pals who, like, really embraced me being in a new environment and having to play with, like, new players. Um, it was very different. It was very challenging leaving um, the Firebirds and going to the Swifts, like, Having my little girl, Baby G, with me, like, they've just embraced us so much. Talking about motherhood, what a chapter. I think I can talk from experience. Like, I know how hard the journey is in terms of coming back and that journey back to the court. What was it like for you? Um, very emotional. Um, I think motherhood really set the tone of what the next day looks like. Um, it's kind of like it brings you back to the moment and knowing that us playing netball, like, it's just the game. And then after that, you go back to being a mum. I was speaking to Janelle the other day and I was like, I never knew I had so much love to give until Gigi came here. And it's just been great. Like, I'm just like super, just happy. Like, it takes a village to raise a baby and um, everyone's just like come on board and really chipping in to help me out with G. And has it really changed your perspective as an athlete? Like, are you, has it changed you as a person in particular? Um, I think like it's trying to make me a little bit more professional. <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. Um, I think for me, I'm just like enjoying just being a mom and enjoying my netball. So I think I have a pretty good balance. Awesome. And looking forward to the semi-finals. Jamaica are the team that everyone is talking about. There's a real sense of belief within the team. Is that what you're experiencing? What's the vibe? What's the feeling? Um, these are a great bunch of girls. Like they're passionate and we do everything with confidence and we're so united and I think, like I said before, like coming over here and um, in, in Australia <laughs> um, to play in the SSN, like that gives us some confidence because we're playing against the best of the best week in, week out. And I think this group has so much confidence and so much belief. So we just can't wait to just get out there and just one team at a time. Okay, what's been your assessment of England and Australia? 
haven't really seen them play <laughs> yet. Um, but look, they can handle their own. <laughs> Well, it, how, what's the impact of Rob Wright in your team? We know you missed out on the Commonwealth Games in um, last year in 2022, so you're definitely on a mission this year. But what's the impact of Rob Wright on the team and your chances for this Netball World Cup? Um, I think Rob brings like that international coaching experience to our group, and like whenever he talks, like everyone just tune in. Um, but I think he's just so comfortable with us, and we're so comfortable with him. Um, the way he views the game is very different and like he helps us to narrow it down and not like think too far ahead. It just keeps us, um, I guess, in the moment and not like thinking too far ahead. Okay, last question. Who would you rather face in the semis? England I, or I don't care. Australia. Whoever it is, bring it on, man. <laughs> no worries. Thanks very much, Thank Ramalda. Sky Sports. Feel it all.